Today we will discuss parathyroid gland. So first of all, we will draw the diagram of parathyroid gland. So this is actually not the parathyroid gland, it is a structure of thyroid gland. We already know that thyroid gland is a butterfly like structure which is present in our neck. So what about parathyroid glands? If we study the structure, parathyroid gland, parathyroid glands are very small tiny gland. Parathyroid glands are small tiny gland. There are four parathyroid glands which remain behind thyroid gland. Which remain behind thyroid. This is not the frontal but they remain behind the thyroid gland present in our neck. So if we study the definition of parathyroid gland, parathyroid glands are how many? Four. Four teeny means small. Teeny. What type of gland? Gland. They are endocrine glands. Four teeny endocrine glands present where? Behind. Behind. Thyroid gland. So these are our parathyroid, parathyroid glands. Parathyroid glands are four teeny small, very small endocrine glands present behind thyroid glands. These parathyroid glands are very small like a a grain of rice very small like a grain of rice this weight of a parathyroid gland is very less it is around 30 milligram and diameter diameter of parathyroid gland is 3 to 4 millimeters very small diameter so this is about the basic things about parathyroid gland. Next, this parathyroid gland consists of cells. Definitely all the glands are consist of cells. Parathyroid glands consist of two types of cells. Two types. How many types? Two types of cells. One types are called chief cells and others are called oxy field cells so parathyroid glands consist of two types of cells one are called chief cells other are called oxy field cells these chief cells these chief cells synthesize and release the hormone these chief cells only synthesize synthesize and they release Synthesize and release parathyroid hormone. So, and there is unknown function about oxyphil cells. So, this is the structure of parathyroid glands. So, we will revise it. Parathyroid glands are four teeny small endocrine glands located behind our thyroid gland. They are like a rice grain like a rice grain, grain of rice. Weight is very less, that is about 30 milligram and diameter of a parathyroid gland is 3 to 4 millimeter. And these parathyroid glands are consist of two types of cells. One group of cells are called chief cells and another is called oxyphil cells. These chief cells are responsible for their synthesis and release of hormones. Now we will discuss about hormones and their functions. So what hormone this parathyroid gland synthesizes and release? 
parathyroid glands synthesize parathyroid hormone TDH or it is called also parath hormone so parathyroid hormone synthesize what hormone from the single hormone which is called parathyroid hormone or parath hormone what are the function function of parathyroid hormone parath hormone or parathyroid hormone perform two function one function is they regulate they regulate calcium and phosphorus homeostasis they regulate calcium and phosphorus homeostasis two important minerals which are very important for our body calcium and phosphorus homeostasis their level they maintain in our body number two function they antagonize 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 means opposite antagonize the function of function of calcitonin already we know that calcitonin is the one type of thyroid hormone and what thyroid hormone this calcitonin maintain the calcium level calcitonin maintain the calcium level that calcitonin decrease the calcium level in our blood and calcitonin increases deposition of calcium in bone this bone so blood level of calcium is decreased by calcitonin and more calcium will store in our bone but this parathyroid hormone opposite antagonize the calcitonin action opposite action so we discuss these two function in detail so first one is calcium what is calcium what is the rule of calcium what is the rule of calcium very most important rule of calcium is calcium gives electrical energy electrical energy to nervous system calcium gives electrical energy to nervous system for our whole nervous system the electrical impulse energy is due to the calcium calcium transfer number 2 same they gives electrical energy to our muscular system muscular system muscle due to the muscle contraction and relaxation calcium is very important another function of calcium which give strength to bone and teeth so calcium is a important component of our bone and teeth so this calcium gives the strength to the bone and teeth so these three are the main major function of calcium and our parathyroid hormone regulate this calcium level and we should know what is the rule of phosphorus 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 is also an important component of bone and teeth teeth phosphorus is an important component of bone and moreover all the it is important part of atp adenosine triphosphate so all the energy it is a integral part of energy this phosphorus next it is integral part of protein dna rna and so many enzymes so these things are the main function of phosphorus it is a important component of our bone and teeth and it is an important part of energy it is an important part of protein dna rna and so many enzymes so 
our parathyroid hormone which is called parath hormone they maintain their balance in our blood now how they antagonize the calcium a calcium uh, maintaining hormone that is called calcitonin we'll discuss it when calcium level calcium level in our blood decreases when calcium level in our blood what happen decreases due to this decrease calcium level calcium level in blood decreases this decrease of the calcium level what is called stimulate stimulate fast this parathyroid gland why are parathyroid gland and this parathyroid gland is the parathyroid gland to release parathyroid hormone due to the decrease level of due to the decrease level of calcium in our blood which stimulate 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 parathyroid gland to release parathyroid hormone then this parathyroid hormone works on bone and cause the release of calcium from the bone so now calcium level will increase in our blood so this is one mechanism calcium release bone will release calcium next what it will cause this is the kidney so kidney that calcium oil enter to the kidney and also it will activate calcium will activate vitamin d activate vitamin d and cause calcitriol form the calcitriol means active active vitamin d so this will cause the active vitamin d and they increase reabsorption absorption reabsorption of calcium in nephron so what happen the loss of calcium will decrease and finally calcium level will increase in the blood and this active form of the vitamin d calcitriol in our small intestine in our in our small intestine these are the intestine intestine so what they will do this calc uh, active form of vitamin d finally they will increase the absorption of calcium from food so for absorption of the calcium from our food it required vitamin d and this vitamin d activation required parathyroid hormone so finally we can get three mechanism by which calcium level are increased in the blood then calcium is increased in our blood one mechanism direct action calcium bone will release the calcium ion and another is parathyroid hormone activate vitamin d and due to this reabsorption of the calcium calcium will retain they will not excrete through the urine reabsorption of the calcium in nephron mechanism number 2 mechanism and third mechanism this active form of vitamin d increases absorption of calcium ion from the food so this is the three mechanism by which it again maintain the calcium level in our blood so this is the way how the parathyroid hormone regulate calcium homeostasis